Hey everybody, welcome to No Sense Frags. This is Adrian. How's everybody doing out there? Just wanted to put together a quick video or tutorial, you may, on how to properly apply your fragrance and to get the fullest amount of performance out of it. Now, this is not just solely my information. Um, I've gotten it from a few people, you know, and I've added my own little torques to it. But in essence, hopefully all this culmination of information will help you. So, again, um, I am kind of new to fragrance collecting. And this is for people who are on the same level as me. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Um, when I find out new information, I try to share it with you guys because I figure it helps. So, let's get into this. First thing, before you put on any fragrance, body wash, any type of smell good, the very first thing you need to do is shower or take a bath. This is very, very, very important because you need a clean canvas to apply your fragrance. Now, part of the bathing process, you want to use non-scented items unless, and this is a strong unless, if you're wearing something like mm, Creed Green Irish Tweed and you have the cream, Creed Green Irish Tweed soap, then, you know, you layer it. You take the shower, use the soap. Um... But for the most part, you want to use fragrance-free um, products. Um, and that includes deodorants, because believe it or not, that will affect. Um, you want to use new shampoo, same deal, fragrance-free. Me, um, what I use, and you're probably going to laugh, because I laughed at first, is I use baby wash. I use baby, wa baby wash for a couple reasons. One, it's hypoallergenic. Two, it has no smell when you take a shower. Three, it makes my skin feel a little softer. And as a grown man, I learned that it's okay to have soft skin. I also use it to shampoo my hair. So I'm a Neanderthal like that. I don't need shampoos and all that crazy stuff. So um, another thing, when you are bathing, you want to get a loofah and you want to scrub all the dead skin cells off. Um, and, you know, you can use the soap and rag method, and that's cool, but you want at least three to four times a day. Loofah helps get all the gook off your skin. Um, and I use, uh, like I said, baby Johnson Johnson, well, I'm not going to mention any names, but I use different kinds of baby wash. You can use whatever kind you want. So, after you properly bathe, I'm not going to get into specific details. Um, and then I use a gel, clinical, well, some of, sometimes it's clinical strength. But I use a gel, um, non-scented, for deodorant. So, that helps. Next, after you properly bathe and clean yourself, what I do before I completely dry off while the water is still while I'm still wet I take either natural organic cocoa oil coconut oil excuse me or I use um, petroleum jelly to moisturize the skin the reason why you want to moisturize your skin is well let's look at it like this the fragrances you wear are made up of alcohol and oils, okay? And if your skin is not properly moisturized, when you spray that fragrance on, your skin is going to suck it, the oils right up. So, by you moisturizing, it slows that process down. Now, typically, and I had to learn the hard way, I'll admit, I used to be one of those people that tend to over spray because I just, I don't know, I'm just heavy handed. So, you want to get 
your pulse points. I typically, depending on if it's a stronger, the stronger the fragrance or the stronger the performance, the less I spray now. So I typically go here, here. I get here in my arms. Let me try to get in there. Get right in there in my arms. I never spray my wrists because I wash my hands too much. And sometimes I'll spray the back of my neck and behind my ears. And when my hair is this length, I sometimes, if it's a parfum or a EDP or the parfum, I will spray it in my hair. So, like with, I have this right here. With, with my Dior Own Intense. I usually go because this is a eau de parfum version. I go three to four sprays. I go here, I go here, and behind the ears, and sometimes in the hair. Sometimes I'll spray my shirt depending on the kind of shirt. If I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, ah, a long sleeve shirt, I will spray the shirt. So that is um what I do. Um, I just want to do a really, really quick video to give you guys a hint, um, some tips, I'm sorry, um, and help you get the, you know, the most out of your fragrance. You know, it's like if you go buy a, a Cadillac and, you know, it's looking good, but if you don't wash and take care of it, you know, it's not going to have its you know, quality look. So we want to do the same things, you know, with our fragrance. We want to get our bodies prepped as well as possible. And I know with me as men, because I used to be it, I used to be like that Neanderthal, put the bar in the soap, done. But um, getting into this fragrance game, I've started looking at things a little bit differently. And I'm also going to say this too, my body feels a lot better um, with my cleaning regimen. So, a couple things to remember. just want to repeat. Spend as much time with you guys as possible. Um, clean. Loofah. Non-scented. And moisturize. Those are some simple, easy tips. Some simple, easy tips. Now, I have to put this disclaimer out. Because I'm looking and I see somebody, it could be you, might be you, might be you, but I see somebody out there getting ready to take a shower and in the midst of their taking a shower, they decide, well, I'm going to moisturize while I'm in the shower and I'm going to put baby oil on while I'm in the shower. I'm telling you that is the worst idea you've ever had to this date if you are thinking about putting baby oil on while you in the shower please do not because you will turn your bathtub and your shower into the world's smallest ice skating rink and you could possibly hurt or kill yourself and we do not want that so do not please do not put baby oil on while in the shower and that may sound crazy but I guarantee you, somebody tried. Now, I was being silly, but I was being serious at the same time. Don't kill yourself trying to smell good. It's not worth it. And then, just think about it. Say you do do it. <laughs> and they have to call the EMS. And the EMS come rushing in. And they look at you like, uh... What happened here? Well, I was trying to moisturize. <laughs> it's easier ways. It's easier ways to do it. So, sorry this video so long. Thank you guys for watching. Um, remember to check out Stan J. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys not only you know tips with music and music. I'm I'm just trying to put in a lot of stuff because. We all a bunch of great guys. We are trying to do different things. That's why you guys are watching me. Stan J. Oh, also, John Bidden, B I D D N. Um, Speak Life. It's another great album you need to go check out. I'm going to somehow put their links below. Um, I got to figure out how to do that. But they're on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube. You know, you Google them. Stan J. 
And if you're in the Atlanta area, December 3rd, I'll get the information and put it in there in the comments. But Stan is having a album release party. And if you're out in that area, please go check him out. Support great music. Um, he's a great guy um, from what I've seen thus far. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Again, this is Adrian, a.k.a. No Sense Frags. Thank you for spending so much time with me. And always, be good to one another. And always, smell good. I'm out!